Hola everyone, I'm here, at, my name is Michael Jimenez. I'm here at our first Soup Nationals here in Chapipa Beach. We're having our race, distance, technical race, and sprint race. Right now we're doing the sprint race and we're having our, our semifinals. Hola everyone, I'm here. My name is Michael Jimenez. I'm also known as Khalifas. Here in Ecuador, Chapipa Beach. We're having our first national soup uh, rankings competition here with the Federation of Ecuador Surf, Salinas Yacht Club, and the Alcalde de Salinas. Here are one of our members here, from our top guys to my top girls. Uh, so enjoy, we'll be video tape, we'll be showing some videos of our, our races, our sprint, technical, and distance race. Aloha. Ciao.
No puede pasar la lista. Despejar carriles, por favor. I was in need of refreshment. Okay, so these heats come from here, go all the way around, down there, back, up there, and then back here, up to the finish line. This kid here, he's 12, he's also a surfer, and he kind of just smoked the competition. Okay, here we are at our finals. The winner of the technical race for the junior boys is Jeremy Sereno from Montanita, 15 years old. ¿Y cómo fue? ¿Cómo fue la carrera? Fue un poco difícil, pero... A little hard. Acostumbrado. But he's used to it. Eh, venido entrenando muy fuerte. He's Acabo trained de... back, in the, back in Montanita in surfing. Eh, Acabo de venir de un mundial de surf. And he y came back from Brazil. Y siento que... He's, in, he's in top condition, as you can see. He's one of the best kids out here. Uh, he has a bright future in surfing as well as stand-up paddleboard. Gracias, mi hermano. All right? All right. Yes, mijo. Hello. Hello, now we're here with the winners, the first place and second place in the junior women's category. We got Nicole in first place, 15, 17 years old, and Vanessa in 17 years old. These are great athletes and they're going to be coming future stars in the upcoming year. Nicole, ¿cómo fue la, la carrera? Muy, muy, muy buena, muy really corriente. hard for her. La corriente. The current. Sí. Y la viento. And the wind. En contra, en contra. Oh, yeah. Yeah, reversa. And Vanessa, ¿cómo, to, cómo fue? Fue divertido. La verdad es que... She's really happy. La verdad es que haber participado aquí. She's really happy to participate with her. And now they're even best friends now. <laughs> Stand up paddleboard and they get people together. Aloha. Ciao. Gracias. Hello, I'm back with the junior boys division. The winners. First place, Jeremy, that we spoke with you earlier. And second place, Christian. Christian, what time is it? Uh, 14 years old, and you know, Jeremy's 15, 15, 15, 15. So, um, fue la carrera, 14? Eh, la verdad, estuvo muy Se bien. Prepara. It was really good. Dani Solórzano. Rodrigo Alonso. Hit uno de balones. Dani Solórzano. Rodrigo Alonso. 
The future, future quarterback for these kids. Aloha. Okay, aloha. Here we are with the winner of the women's technical race, Lisette Prado, one of our golden girls here of this sport. She's been from the very beginning of this sport from when I introduced the sport here in Ecuador. Lisette, ¿cómo fue la carrera? Bueno, la carrera fue super chévere. Really cool. La organización del evento está super bien hecha. The organization of the club was really well done of the other event. Bueno, y mi, mi carrera de pal fue súper buena, había un poco de viento, pero bueno, y dándole con fuerza. Once again, the wind is a category here with the boards, and she put it through like she always does. Gracias, Lisette, y nos vemos pronto. Nos vemos. Aloha. Gracias. I'm back, and now I'm here with Tomas from the Yacht Club, one of my team members, and he came in first in the Tecno Men's Intermediate class. Tomas, how did they go? You speak English too. Great. Was pretty it awesome. Pretty awesome. Yeah, too much wind. At the, at the, at the, like I said, at the, the wind. But I came back. You came yeah. back. But all in all, you like this thing? Okay, good. cool. Organization is pretty, pretty good. We just want more people to be uh, involved with this, spectators more than less the uh, participation. So, I'll be back. Hello, I'm back. And I'm back with, do you know Jorge Correa. Jorge Correa. Now, I always said, when you're, coming to, when you're participating in a race, it doesn't matter if you come in first or last, you're a winner when you participate. And that's what I'm trying to explain to everyone else here, which Jorge here, came in last, but he's number one in my eyes. Because he came here, he participated in this heat with a paddle, with a airboard, airboard, inflatable board, and he still competed with the other guys with the fiber boards. So that should show you that this guy has dedication. I'm really proud of this guy coming here. Y como fue la carrera? Excelente. Excellent Excelente. race. Perfect race. Perfect. Well, you're out of English. Yes, I do. Why don't you explain to a little bit, a little bit of us about how the race went? Well, Como fue la carrera en inglés? Well, I'll, I'll think um, the race was really good. I know that there's people that probably make this often. I do or probably better, once, once, once a week. Correct. But hey. I'll say the perfect thing on is to finish the race, probably. Exactly. I exactly. Mean, I mean, with help. Maybe I'm not an experienced racer, but the, the good you, thing you is that came, I finished. You, you came, conquered, right. and you finished. Yes. That's and you're, you're a winner to me and everyone else here, brother. Gracias, brother. Thank you very much, Michael. You're Thank welcome, you. brother. I'll be back.
I'm back again, and here with the Masters Divisions of the winner of the technical race, Roberto Vasquez. Vasquez, 44 years old. This is his second time competing. He used to compete with the uh, inflatable boards. Now he's trying out the, the, the fiber boards, and there's a big difference. Como fue, Roberto? Eh, de aquí hasta allá, fácil. From over there to there, easy. And? De regreso, el viento, terrible. But coming back, once again, the wind. That. The wind always gets it. He has to get. He has to uh, crouch a little bit lower for the the wind. A little bit aerodynamic. Gracias, Roberto. Y vamos a ver nosotros la próxima vez. Okay. I'm gonna tell him thank you, and we'll see you next time when we have a competition. Aloha. Hey, welcome everyone to the first national rankings of stand-up paddleboard in Salinas, Ecuador. This competition is brought to you by. Salinas Yacht Club in cooperation with the Ecuadorian Surf Federation and sponsored by the Municipio de Salinas and his mayor, Denis Cordova. So today we have stand-up paddle or soup races. Uh, so far we've had sprints with juniors and adults, uh, women and boys. We are about to finish our second um, race of the day with technical technical races. That's a race that is like a mile long. Sprint is like a, a couple hundred meters. To finalize, to end the day, we're gonna have a long distance race. All the racers are going out at the same time uh, for about three and a half kilometers. So today it's a very beautiful sunny day in Salinas. We are right now in Chipipe. And tomorrow, tomorrow, Sunday the 17th, we're gonna have a surfing competition out in Punta Carnero. I see you tomorrow. And if not, I'll be there and I'll give you another preview of whatever we are doing here at the national rankings of Stand Up Paddleboard. All right, we're on a short break until the final heat. So it's got me a little shade out here at the beach. Hello, I'm back again. And here I'm with our invited guest to compete here, Rodrigo from Peru. Hola, Rodrigo, como estas? Hola, hola. Nice to meet you. Hello. He came in second place in the sprint and the technical of the men's uh, division. How did it go for you, uh, Rodrigo? It's a, a very good place. Salinas is very nice. Uh, the people is good. And uh, the other guys. The other competitors? The other competitors. It's a Top very Peter. strong. Yeah. Uh, two, three events, very strong. <laughs> and very, very, very heat. Very close heat. Very close heat. And it's very fun, really. I have a uh, pleasure to, to Mike. Oh, no, one, no problem. To, it's no problem. to me. And ready for me to organization, to the Salinas Club, Viajamar, my sponsor principal. Yeah. And now, you're, you're also the champion in Peru, aren't you? Can you explain yes. to us your, yes, your, yes. Your, your, uh, your category? Your... I live in, in Lima. I, I race in super racing in Lima. I, uh, actually, I'm a champion in uh, sprint distance. Yeah. And uh, second place in the overall. Overall. In, in, in a year. Cool. Yes, uh, well, I, well, thank you, Rodrigo, for coming. Uh, and gracias para venir. Y I'll see you soon next time when we have comp competition, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. I'm out. The history behind paddleboarding here in Ecuador, there were a few family members, the father, the mother would have a paddleboard, but they would just use it for themselves, which, is, which was cool. But in 2009, we had the RSA Junior Championship here. And I was like a guide for the California team and Hawaiian team. 
So I showed them around, I showed them our beaches, and they go, Mike, why isn't anyone paddleboarding here? And I go, I, I really didn't know what it was about. He introduced me to it. He introduced me to a, a gentleman in Hawaii. His name is Hyper, uh, Ian Fu with Hypernalo, and that's how I brought it over here. In 2009, I brought the first like school or a collection of boards from the stand-up paddleboard uh, surf model to the race model. So eight foot, nine foot, 10 foot, 11 foot, 12 foot. So a set of 10 boards. With that, I used to just give out simple lessons until 2012, uh, the Federation of Equilibrium Surf came, uh, confronted me to say, hey, can you be participate in the Juegos Bolivianos, uh, and in, uh, South American uh, competition, which they have a paddleboarding uh, division in there in race and in and surf. I went for race and the other crew went for sub surf. When I came back, Everyone wanted to get involved with the, with the sport. We, had, we started the competitions here. We started nationals here. So most of the people here that you see here, basically I persuade them to it. And they use my boards in the beginning because there, was, there, there wasn't a really a store here in Ecuador. But I had mostly all the boards from Hawaii. Thank you, Ian, Mahalo, and Lauren. Love you guys. But um, yeah, and that's how it started. Now everyone's buying their own boards here and there or secondhand boards or a custom uh, build, uh, board builder here, Christian Wur. So we have our models here from Ecuador, but mostly people buy from out of state. And that's how it began. Now we're here in 2024, basically, 10 years later. But we just need to get the sport bigger and better and get people more involved with it. And thanks, thanks to the Salinas Yacht Club, we're getting that done. I'm also the instructor out there. So myself and Roberto Serrano and the Federation of Ecuador Surf and Dennis uh, Cordova, the the, uh, Calder, the mayor here in Salinas, are all joining in to help us out with this sport. Because we have, you can see, we have some good athletes. Right. And that's how it was. This right here is internet. Uh, this right here is national Ecuador rankings. Okay. This is to consider who's going to go to compete when we have international competitions. ISA, International Super Association, APP, uh, Association of Paddle Pacific. We all try to get into those categories to compete. Once you get uh, rankings or yeah, your rankings to see if you're first, second, or third, if we have the money, we will send them to these competitions. Okay, awesome. So that's how it started, and that's how we're going to keep on starting and keep on going. Thanks for you guys to be, you know, publicly, you know, filming this and promoting this. That's really helped for us too.